Hello everyone, this is part 8 of our tutorial about Zwim. We have now our Zwim software running. We have displayed all the main elements of uh, this drainage network. And at this point we have to give information about each element. Most of this information can be taken directly from Global Mapper. Here we have all the necessary data. We can start with the SOP catchment. Ideally, you put all the information on a paper or on an Excel file so that when it comes to insert those information into Zwim, it is easier and straightforward. Let's start with the SOP catchment. For the SOP catchment, we need essential information that are the area in hectare and in square meter, the width square meter divided by length and the average slope. The area can be taken directly from global mapper. Just open your map, click on the information icon and click on the concern sub catchment you will get the information about the area in square kilometer that you need to convert in hectare or in square meter. You have the characteristic width. An initial estimate of this width is given by the subcatchment area divided by the average maximum overland flow length. This parameter reflects the size of your catchment with the time that water needs to reach the channel. Online, you might find uh, more explanation and discussion about this parameter. And then you have the slope, the average percent slope of your catchment. For that, you, you activate again your digital terrain model. You eventually create a contour line to see more or less the slope, and then you can start to estimate the average slope. Just take a line, for example, from here to here, right click, create a new layer that I call average slope. You need to cross check the projection again. And here we can make another line here. Try to keep perpendicular to the contour line maybe another one here now I select these three lines I right click on it analysis measurement path profile slope of the first line would have an average slope of 1.14% 1 1 the second line would have an average slope of 1.66 and the third line would have an average slope of 2.43 which makes an average slope of 1.74 for each catchment you have to do the same exercise here you can see the lines that I have used for determining the average slope of each cut. And here you can see the Excel file field with the value that I have taken from Global Mapper. Please note that I have added a column for the length to be considered when you are calculating the width. At this point, we can add all the information about our drain. I deactivate everything except our drainage and our junction. With the info icon, I just click on the drain and then I will just read the information. This drain number one is 301.6 meter and I add the information into my Excel file. I do the same for the order for drains. Here we have our Excel file that includes the length of the pipe. 
on the same way we can add the elevation of our junction we click on the info tool and we click on the junction and we get the elevation if you didn't connect the elevation to your junction before you might revert to the previous part of the tutorial of course this elevation is not precise it is taken from the digital elevation model that you have found online and it refers to the ground but this is enough to have an idea about the average slope of the pipe here we can see the excel file with all the elevation for the junction note that the junction number four is at the same time the outlet therefore i write the same elevation for the outlet we are going to see the information about the rain gauge in another part of the tutorial